Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look at connecting to a database within VBA. Um, so we can then use this to pull data into our text boxes. Um, we can also insert data from the text boxes into the database, uh, update records, um, etc. This is one of the most useful things that you will want to do from within your form um, generally. So in this session, I'm going to walk through connecting within the sub that we're using, um, which is just going to be on this update customer um, button. Uh, and then later on, I will show you how to make some modules to do this, um, which you can then call in various subs um, much more easily than typing up all of these connection details every time. So let's take a look. Uh, what we need to... Um, make sure that we've got first of all if you click onto tools and click onto references um, you need to make sure that you've got this reference added in here which is the Microsoft ActiveX data objects library um, the version I've got here is 6.1 but I don't know what version you guys will have if you're using the same as me then use 6.1 um, but it'll be just down here in the list um, yeah around here add that reference in you basically just tick the box press ok um, and it will add it there into the project so that you can then use it. So um, what we want to do then um, within this sub here of update customer um, we're just going to create some variables now. So I'm just going to dim rs as new adodb.recordset and rs is just the name of it um, I just find that really easy, RS record set. Um, and then we're declaring it as a new record set object um, of ADODB type. Okay? And then we're going to do the same for the connection, which I'm just going to call CNN as new ADODB dot connection. And then I'm just going to create a variable to hold our SQL string. So dim SQL string as string. Okay. Um, and then the database that I'm going to connect to is a version of SQL Server that I've got on my laptop. Um, you can use Access instead if you want to. Um, but we're just going to use SQL for this one. Um, I do have um, a load of SQL tutorials up as well on this channel. So if you want to learn SQL at the same time, then please do, because these two series are going to go hand in hand, really. Um, so what we're going to do now is we just need to um, tell it what we're going to, um, well, what we want to return from our database. So I'm saying here, SQL string equals. Um, I think let's just do something really, really simple, like at, at version. Um, because in the next tutorial I'll show you how to populate the text boxes from the database. Um, so for now let's just ask SQL what version are you basically, that's all we're going to do there. So um, we're just storing this SQL string in the variable SQL string here so that we can then run it when we open the connection. Okay. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to give the connection here a connection string. So I'm just going to put string, and then I'm just going to copy and paste mine over. So obviously this is where you need to put in your own connection string rather than copy mine. Um, all I've done here is um, I have set up um, on my local SQL server um, a user here um, that I've just called renewals and password as password1. Um, so here it's just saying it's a SQL database, um, this is where the data source is, um, this is the database that I want to connect to at the moment, um, the user ID is um, renewals db user and the password is password1. Um, so you want to put your own details in there. Okay, and then I'm just going to say cnn.open. So what we're saying here is here's your connection string for this new object that we called ADODB connection and then open it. So every time we put a CNN open we also need to put a CNN.close 
and we also want to set CNN equals nothing because we just want to release the objects um, every time we've done them and also we'll do the same with um, RS okay so these will just go at the end down there so now that we've opened the connection what we want to do is pull the result from the SQL string into the record set um, so that we can then have a look at it. So I'm just going to say rs.open, which is record set open, SQL string CNM. So what we're saying here is open the record set, run this query on this connection. So it's pretty like self-explanatory um, and because we've opened um, the record set here we need to also do rs.close again um, and then just so that we actually pull the value back um, let's output it in a message block because we've just got good at them haven't we so we're going to do um, message box rs.fields um, and then the field I just called it ver didn't I dot value there so I called it ver there, so that's what it's going to come back as. Um, and then we just want to uh, display a message box with the um, value that's held in there. So that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at it. So um, now that we're in our form here, it's on the button. Um, if I run the form uh, and click the button, uh, we get the message box here and it's just telling us there what version of SQL Server we're outputting. So that's pretty much it. Um, nice and simple. <laughs> um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, pull some values back um, that we can then put into our text boxes. So instead of specifying the values here, we're going to pull them from the database instead. Um, so yeah, I hope this was useful for you. If you've got any questions, please comment below. Uh, please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, and thank you for watching.